Installing company data archive for Dynamics GP is a fairly straightforward process. First thing you want to do is go into GP Utilities, and we're going to set up the archive company using uh, the standard included GP product. So just go ahead and create a company, and then you would just assign your database name like you normally would. So in this case, I'm just going to put in uh, archive. Now, what you're going to want to do uh, once you get to this point is make sure you click copy the access from another company. So in this case, I'm selecting Fabricam. You can review and change any of the settings like you normally would here. The archive company is now set up, and you can go ahead and uh, choose the option just to set it up later because we don't need to actually go through and set it up. So you can exit out of GP Utilities, and next, take the download file and the zip for Company Data Archive, and what you're going to want to do is extract those files. Once extracted, the chunk file and copy it. And then go into your Dynamics GP folder, wherever you have GP installed. So in this case, I have it at Program Files x86 Microsoft Dynamics GP 2010. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste this right into there. Now the next thing I'm going to want to do is actually go back into the zip file, and I'm going to copy the CDA prox .dat and IDX files. And I'm going to go back into the GP folder and go into the data folder. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and paste and... You can see that I already have some in there, so I'm just going to click Replace to overwrite them. So we're all done uh, copying the files that are required. So at this point, you can go ahead and close out of those folders. Launch GP, and when it asks you to install the new code, click Yes. And then you can go ahead and log into GP as SA, and we're going to complete the setup install. So I'm going to log into my main production company, which in this case is Fabricam. Everything in CDA is going to be located in the Administrator pane. So I'm going to simply uh, click on Administration and go into Utilities. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, go into uh, the Registration and enter my Registration keys. So once you've done that, uh, you can click on Install. Check both of the boxes and click OK. It'll go through and install the tables and stored procedures that it needs. And once done, the next step is to switch over to the archive database uh, company that you just created. And we're going to go ahead and install those same files in there. Once that process is complete, you're basically ready to go. So you can simply go into Company Data Archive from your actual archive company. Select the company you want to archive from, in this case Fabricam. Type in your archive date. Go ahead and get ready to transfer those master tables. Click Disable SQL Triggers and click Process, and you're going to be off and running.